Welcome, and thank you for joining me for Distance Education Support for Families. This session, Chromebook Distribution and Getting Started, is brought to you by FACES, the Family and Community Engagement Services Department, which is part of the Curriculum and Instruction Division of the Clark County School District. My name is Karen Lou Allen. I am a project facilitator and will be your presenter during this session. During this time of distance education, all CCSD students will need Chromebooks or other devices in order to participate in learning and the practice that will be assigned by your child's teacher. Some students may already have a device that was issued previously. Schools are currently communicating directly with families to assess your family's needs and arrange for distribution if needed. One of the best things that a family can do at this time to help the district understand the device and connectivity needs of our students is to fill out the CCSD Technology Survey. It is important that every family fill out this survey, regardless of need, so that we can assure all students have been heard from. The survey can be found at ccsd.net slash survey and is available in English and Spanish. Please note that pre-K students and students in Life Skills, LIF, Functional Life Skills, FLS, and Autism Self-Contained Programs will be issued iPads for distance education. Parents and students must sign and return the mobile device agreement before the device can be issued to the student. If you have not heard from your child's school yet, please call the school during normal business hours. Phone numbers for all CCSD schools can be found on the CCSD website at ccsd.net slash schools. CCSD is very fortunate to be working so closely with a multitude of community partners whose main goal is to make sure all students have access to a device and internet. At connectingkidsnv.org or by calling the Family Support Center at 1-888-616 2476. There are CCSD employees who are ready to assist you with completing the district technology survey, letting your school know that you need a device, and determining which internet programs may be best suited for your family. One of the main options is from Cox Communications. They offer the Connect to Compete program for brand new to Cox families with children who attend a Title I school for $9.95 a month. However, the fees will be waived during the 2020-2021 school year. There are also T-Mobile hotspots available. And again, the fees will be waived during the school year. Please visit connectkidsnv.org or call 1-888-616-2476 for more information and assistance with registering for one of these programs. Students may also access Wi-Fi by visiting one of our many partners listed in the Back to School Report, which is located on the CCSD website at ccsd.net slash schools slash back to schools. Finally, CCSD school buses equipped with Wi-Fi hotspots may also be deployed around the county as needed when classes resume on August 24th. Please make sure to check back on the district's website after the 24th for more information. When your child has a Chromebook and Wi-Fi access, it's time to get ready to begin. Start by having a flat surface to place the Chromebook on that is also an ideal place for learning and free from distractions. Make sure your Chromebook is plugged into a power supply by attaching the cord on the right-hand side. Now the Chromebook can be turned on by touching the power button in the top right-hand corner of your keyboard. Here are a few tips for your child while using the Chromebook. First, always make sure to have clean and dry hands before use. When carrying the Chromebook, students should use two hands and hold the device close to their body to avoid any drops. Also, do not stack items on top of the Chromebook. If you do need to wipe down the screen or keyboard, please use a soft, dry cloth. Never allow liquids or food crumbs to come into contact with the Chromebook since this could lead to hardware damage or operating malfunctions. If the Chromebook does become damaged or is not working properly for any reason, please notify your school immediately so they can help to fix the problem. Finally, please do not allow students to put stickers on or draw on the Chromebook. The device is still a school material and needs to be taken care of so that others may use it in the future. 
If the Chromebook does have a barcode taped onto it, please leave this on and do not pick at the tape. This barcode is what is used to identify who the Chromebook has been assigned to. When your child is ready to log into the Chromebook, please enter your child's CCSD Google email address and click Next. His or her username is a combination of the student's first name, a dot, and a random number. Then, the at sign followed by nv.ccsd.net. An example for John Doe could be john.123456 at nv.ccsd.net. Then you would enter your child's CCSD Google password and click Next. If your child does not remember his or her password, it can be reset by going to either of the websites, myaccount.ccsd.net or stutech.ccsd.net or you may contact your child's school for further assistance. Your child's CCSD email address and password will be used anytime they are prompted to log into any apps on the Chromebook. This is also called their AD or Active Directory information. Make sure to write this information down in several places so you have it when needed. Now we need to connect the Chromebook to the Wi-Fi. After your child has logged into the Chromebook and the main screen is displayed, Select the time in the bottom right-hand corner. Next, select Not Connected. Please note that if you see your Wi-Fi network name and signal strength, your Chromebook is already connected to the Wi-Fi. Select Turn on Wi-Fi, and the Chromebook will automatically look for available networks and show them to you in a list. Select the Wi-Fi you wish to use an open network that maybe you are using through the public libraries or one of CCSD's Wi-Fi partners, or a closed personal network that is only for your home's use and requires a password. Please note that if your child is on an open network, information may be available for others to view. After you select the network you wish to use, press Connect. Although your child can use the small rectangle in the center bottom of the keyboard, which is called the touchpad, as a way to move the cursor on the screen, it is highly recommended your child use a computer mouse. If you do not have a mouse, please contact your child's school about obtaining one for your child's use. Now that your child is logged into the computer, there are several computer applications, also called apps, that will be used frequently, such as Gmail, Google Meet, Google Classroom, Clever, and Canvas. If these apps are not already on your child's desktop, which is the screen you see after you log in, you can click on the circle icon on the lower left side. This will show you all apps that are already on your Chromebook. Now you can click on the icon of the app that you want, such as Gmail, hold it down while you drag the icon to your desktop. Google Meet is accessed through an invite which is described in detail in our Google Meet Basics for Families video. Anytime your child is prompted to log into an app, they will simply use their CCSD main email address and password that they use to log into this computer. It is important to know that all CCSD school-issued nv.ccsd.net student accounts have been set up with a management and internet filtering tool called GoGuardian. GoGuardian is used to encourage safe practices and responsible internet use by your child. This program will send a red flag anytime a student account is used to access inappropriate content. This will create an email that is sent to your child's school administration to alert them that the CCSD student account was used in an inappropriate manner. GoGuardian is only used for CCSD-issued student accounts and will not impact any accounts that are non-CCSD or private accounts. If your child's account does generate a red flag, you may be contacted by the administrator to notify you of the inappropriate usage and if any action is required. It is recommended that students always log off their device once they have completed their classwork for the day. Your child is now ready to learn and we have created further videos to help with this process as well. Please see our videos, Google Meet Basics for Families and Google Classroom Basics for Families. 
please know that the Family and Community Engagement Services Department of the Clark County School District is here to support you during this time and always. We wish you and your family health, happiness, and continued success. Thank you for participating.